can uh, uh, all the pressure that is sometimes put on you as a band, can that spoil the love for music, do you think? I don't know, we've been quite, we've never really had any pressure any like that uh, from, from his label or, any, or anyone really. Though. Only the pressure we put on his selves, I suppose, to make What's a better record. And that. Like we've not had, we've had it pretty good, I suppose, in yeah. terms of... Uh, we've never, uh, we've never like done anything that we didn't really want to do yeah. or you know, wanted to do. Um, being on tour and being always into music, what, what does that with uh, yeah, someone's creativity do you think when you're uh, starting for a new round of recording an album? Yeah. Is, that, is that something that has a big influence or maybe blocks some, something out or yes. maybe you can describe it? Well, I think um, like on tour, like you can kind of work songs out and write stuff but it's never like, it never seems to be the best stuff that we do writing on tour. And that's like something that Alex had said, that he prefers to be just in one place when he's writing a song. Writing songs, like ones he'd written on tour haven't always worked out to be the best ones. But, um, like it has worked in the past, like songs that we have on, and we just work them out in sound checks and stuff. But I suppose it's, easy, it's probably more efficient to treat them as different things, like you go on tour, you do all that. And that is the creative part then, like playing like, every night and playing like the best you can, I suppose. And then you go back and you settle down and start writing records. I mean, that's the way it seems to work for us at the moment. Yeah. I heard some bands uh, 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 talking about that they use their uh, sound check time as, as rehearsal cool. time. Is that well, something yeah. that you do as well? well? For, yeah, for little things like today, like for B-sides and stuff, because we've got other chords. Like you kind of record them as we go along. So we have to, we have to use that time to rehearse. Yeah. And it's good because you've got everything sounds great usually, so you've got like a good situation to work songs out. And, and, um, and yeah, and sometimes you need to, but not for like, well, for when we're making a record, I think you've got to like really get into it and concentrate on that rather than having everything else yeah. on your mind. Now, with Alex uh, moving uh, to New York for a while, what did it meant for the band and writing this new album, do you think? Uh, no, well, when he moved to New York, we were like touring Umbug quite a lot, so I did. Yeah. So we, yeah, all the different so yeah, we just went home to different places. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and then I think he then he moved back like shortly after after we'd stopped touring really. So yeah, it didn't yeah, really he went, affect. Yeah, he weren't really ever that long away yeah. from us. You know yeah. what I mean? He were always we always saw him still. And he he like wrote some of the songs in New York like on his own that we've and then we like kind of brought them together with us. So I mean that's I suppose that didn't really matter where he were. As long as he was in one place, and then we all got together in London to start working out all the songs, and uh, yeah, and that seemed to work out quite well. What kind of an influence can a city have on on, on, on music itself? Do you think, or is that just something that that is? I mean, uh, when writing, I, don't, I mean, I don't write songs myself, but I suppose it's you're looking at something else out of window sometimes, and it might it might trigger something else. But um, for recording, like this record, been in LA and been in the sunshine and been in a place where you can have a bit of fun as well when you're not recording, I think definitely had a good influence on us. Like, it probably changes your attitude towards it. Like, when you wake up and it's raining, you're not necessarily going to be in the best mood all day. Or, you know, and it, I think that, that definitely helps. In the beginning of the interview, you were talking about growing as musicians. In yeah. what aspect is there still much growth, do you think, for maybe to start off with you? Yeah, you I think a... there's a lot I still don't know how to do on drums, and a lot about. Do you have an example? Or... Well, no, I just because I've never had lessons, so I don't know any of like the the things where I I won't know it in my head what it needs to be, so I have to just physically work it out. Whatever, he's going to go turn, um, and then. But I'm, I'm happy it's worked out that way because I think it, it made it a bit different from learning things and like theoretically doing things. Can it also be a blessing that you're not an educated musician? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to not have any certain rules or whatever to follow. But yeah, there's plenty, there's a lot to learn. Like Certain things I still struggle with, but you know. Like what? We've always done it. Uh, maybe playing really fast. Like for, for a long period of time, it's difficult. Mm. But that's probably difficult for anyone. And yeah, just not making silly mistakes. Make a lot of silly mistakes.